I don't think I'm ready to walk in what's better for me. I don't think I'm ready to accept change. I don't think I'm ready to accept growth because oftentimes what's on the other side of pain, we have to identify that it is going to help us better in life. But see, oftentimes we, we worry about the unknown because the unknown is so present. But how do you, how do you work with the unknown instead of against it? Me not being ready taught me that me being prepared is preparing me to be ready. But how do you be ready if you haven't started and believe that what you're doing is for the best for you? I had to learn from my divorce, from my pain, that me not being ready to step away and to, and to be alone and to learn how to be alone was the best thing for me. But I wasn't ready because I became dependable on my ex-wife. I became so used to being in her presence I wasn't used to being in my own. But see, the, the thing that I've learned is that you really have to do things that's gonna make you uncomfortable in order to be ready when you least expect it. But see, oftentimes when you least expect it, this is where you really grow. This is where you this is where you really have grown within yourself. But how you grow within yourself if you identify if you're ready or not. But see, being not ready shouldn't stop you from actually trying and actually doing something that will that would change your life dr drastically. But how you do something if you can't see it, if it's not in front of you? I had to learn that me not being ready prepared me for the person I am today. And it prepared me because I had to identify and learn who Terrell with the Y Humphrey was. What's going on everybody? My name is Terrell with the Y Humphrey and welcome to another great talk, light talk, growth talk about life and how you can become the best version of yourself. Welcome to Failure's Knowledge and here at Failure's Knowledge we speak about real life problems and how to overcome the problems that you're currently dealing with. But see oftentimes what you're dealing with is going to teach you and prepare you for something that you don't even know. I had to learn adversity is going to is never going to stop coming. But how do you handle the bad thing when the good thing is here but you don't understand why it's present? If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, listen, if you haven't hit that subscribe, like, and or left a comment yet, please do this. Do the, do, just do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button because you don't, you don't want to miss a life talk that can really potentially help you later on in life. Hit that subscribe button and leave a like because I'm getting deep. I'm getting deep. I'm getting deep. I want to over deliver so let you know that you're, you are not alone. You are not alone, but it's okay to feel what you're feeling. I'm going to say that again, but I'm going to say it a little bit slow. It's okay to feel what you're feeling. Why? Because we all going through some type of pain, but we can't identify what pain we're going through because we haven't start with the beginning. See, what, what's happening is that when you go through a hard time, this hard time isn't just isn't here because of today. This hard time that's here, that's present right in front of you has been built over time. But how do you work with something over time if you never took it day by day? I had to learn the pain that was here in front of me wasn't just because of my divorce. The, the lessons that I had to endure and grow through wasn't just because of me stepping away from my ex-wife. But the person I had to become, I had to learn me not being ready is making me, is preparing me to be ready. Just because I'm not ready doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. Just because I'm not ready doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. Just because I'm not ready doesn't mean I shouldn't do it. When I start learning by myself and really putting myself out there in, in uncomfortable, uncomfortable, uncomfortable positions and situations, it was really hard for me to adapt and identify why I was doing this. This this day, last year, five uh, May 14, 2022, I believe, wait, wait, is May 15th, I'm sorry, May 15th of 2022. I started making videos. I started making videos, a lot of videos, day by day by day by day. But when I was making the videos, I was actually venting. I was actually expressing what I was feeling. But see, oftentimes I didn't know me expressing what I was feeling was making me a better communicator. But I wasn't ready to step away, but I was ready to do something for myself for once. Me not being ready taught me, how do you put yourself first? How do you come first? Why do you even come first? Me putting myself first made me really uncomfortable because I was so used to putting everybody else first. I was so used to loving everybody, I forgot to love myself. And everybody, I'm actually just saying my ex wife, I loved her so much, I forgot to put myself in the equation. I forgot to really love who I was and who I was becoming because I didn't know who I was. Who I was. 
But see, when, when I start to vent, when I start to get educated, when I start to do things that really made me uncomfortable, it taught me a very valuable lesson. The lesson that it taught me is that we all go through pain, but the pain is kicking our butt because we don't know how to handle it. We don't know how to communicate because we're not communicating. I'm not ready as saying I haven't practiced and built the courage up to even talk about it and prepare myself for this. But see, you not being ready is, is, is teaching you why you should do this. It's showing you since you're not ready today doesn't mean you're not going to be ready tomorrow. Since you're not prepared for what's coming to you today, how often are you, how you, how often are you practicing to be prepared? See, that's what I had to learn as I was going through the process, the healing process of going through my divorce. It was so hard for me to accept because I loved her so much. I didn't want to be alone. I loved her so much. I didn't think I was ready in order to learn myself. But what's happening when you, when you put, when you get in uncomfortable positions, growth happens. But it's happening because you're putting yourself out there in a way that you're not used to doing. But see, here's what I'm learning. Here's what I had to learn uh, May 15th of 2022. That it is okay. It is okay to feel what you're feeling, especially what you went through. It is okay to feel what you're feeling when you identify what you have been through. Why am I saying this? Because we all go through some type of pain, but our pain is so hard to identify we push it away. We push it away and we, we find something that can block it, block our, 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 our view within it because we don't want to deal with it. <laughs> we don't want to deal with it because it hurt us so bad. And by it hurt us so bad, our feelings get hurt because this is something we really have to learn and identify. Me not being ready taught me that me expressing myself was making me prepare for today. But what I had to learn, since I was going through my divorce, since I was going through a heartbreak, since I was going through a transition, I was in the Marine Corps, I was getting out the Marine Corps, I had to figure things out quickly. But since I put myself out there uncomfortably, I learned them in a timely manner because every day I was learning how to communicate. Now see, here's the thing about not being ready. It's a lack of belief. It's a lack of belief within yourself because you don't are not comfortable with who you are. I mean, there's one time I was making a video, I was exercising. When I was exercising, I didn't even talk in the video when I was recording it, but I exercised. And you can see like the, the workouts and things of that nature. But I did a voiceover. So I wasn't talking in the video. My voice was, was over the video. My voice was in the video after the fact, after the math, right? As I'm talking, you can tell my feelings was hurt. You can tell I was in so much pain. You can tell I didn't even know how to deal with what I was going through. But yet I still did things that made me uncomfortable. But yet I still learned that words have power, but it's the meaning that you put behind the words that make you okay. So then I really had to really dive in within myself to identify why this is a thing. What does this even mean? You not being ready is you doing something that's making you uncomfortable, but you identify why it's making you uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable because how do you go from not talking about your feelings to talking about your feelings each and every day? How do you go from not sitting in your pain, sitting in your, in your depression, sitting in your misery to actually coming out better and happy and grateful and, 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 and blessed for whatever, everything that you've been through? How do you learn how to do that when you don't even know how to? I had to learn what you go through is teaching you and preparing you for what's, for what's yet to come. And it hasn't came yet because you haven't prepared yourself for it. I'm not ready yet it's saying I'm not, I'm not ready yet It's saying I don't want to face my fears. I don't want to face everything that I've been through. When I was growing up, my dad wasn't in my life. So I didn't know. Not only was he not in my life, I didn't know I had abandonment issues when I was in my relationship. What? That, that's the thing. When I identified one problem, another popped up. My dad not being in my life. I didn't know how that affected me as a man. I didn't know I wasn't even a man yet. I was just getting of age, but I wasn't a man. Mm, mm, mm. See, a man is someone that communicates. A man is someone who communicates. A man 
is someone who communicates his emotions to help other people understand what he's going through. But the, I, you figured that out if you haven't been taught that. My dad didn't teach me. My dad wasn't in my life. I know him. He wasn't in my life to show me how to be a man, what a man is. How a man's supposed to treat a woman, how a man's supposed to love a woman. He wasn't in my life, so I had to learn that. He wasn't in my life. Just because he wasn't in my life doesn't mean it doesn't mean I, that's an excuse for me not to learn. If anything, how can I start learning how to be a better man? Not just only for myself, but for my future family. I'm not ready yet saying I don't want to face my fears because I know my fears is going to be so overwhelming and it's over so overwhelming. I don't want to I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with that headache. I don't want to deal with that pain. I want to deal with that. So what you do? You push it to the side because it's not that important to you yet. You not being I'm not ready is saying I, 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 I not right now. I'm not ready. So I'm not going to do it today. I'm not ready, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it next week. I'm going to do it next month. I'm going to do it next year. But what I've learned is that the more you put it, push it back, it's never getting completed. So you can keep pushing it back, but it's always going to be in a, in, a, in your mind to where you have to complete it, but you know you need to. But we overcomplicate things before it gets presented in front of us, and we never do it. I'm not ready saying I'm not ready to deal with what I need to deal with today, but I'm going to learn how to deal with it each and every day. So now as I'm learning how to deal with it each and every day, the gap is closing. But as it's closing, you're learning more about yourself. If you're watching this video so far and you're getting value from this and you're getting value of value from this, make, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you leave a comment on what exactly not being ready means to you. If you're watching on a podcast platform, make sure you please subscribe to it. Make sure you, 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 you subscribe to the channel and like it to where you're constantly getting notifications on when new episodes is coming out. But see, here's the thing about you not being ready, about us not being ready. You meet people that are not ready as well. The law of the universe, the law of attraction works for everything. What you thinking you are attracting, what you're attracting you are becoming. What you are becoming is around you each and every day. But see, we don't understand that we really have the control over our mind to even think, that we think and do anything we put our minds to. I mean, there was one time before I got in the car accident, me and my ex-wife didn't even pay the, 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 the car bill, the car note, I'm sorry, the insurance, we didn't pay the, the insurance. And two weeks prior to me getting an accident, I was like, what if one of us got in a car accident and we towed the car out? I'm thinking this, I'm literally thinking this. What if one of us get in a car accident and towed the car out? I'm thinking this though. Two weeks later, June 29th of 2022, I wrecked my, I wrecked my car. Not only wrecked it, I totaled it out, totaled it out. But what it taught me is at that moment, first off, I, had, I checked my body, make sure I was good, okay? Since I'm good, let me go check on everybody else. Make sure they was good, okay, everybody's good. I was able to handle this situation prior to my experience, prior to my growth, and prior to me understanding what just took place. When I grew up in a single parent household, my mama made sure we learned how to be independent, learn how to do things that, how to, how to speak to the police officer, how to, how to report an accident, how to just communicate. She taught us how to do that at a young age. So I definitely commend her for that. The next thing that I had to learn was from my experience. So I've been in another car accident. The only thing that was different was that a different time. I'm like, okay, well, let me call the police. Let me see, let me, let me get a police officer out here. So I called the police. I was like, it was just an accident on the freeway. I was like, was anybody injured? I'm like, no. I was like, well, we can't come. I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean you can't come? What does that even mean? There's a car accident, y'all not gonna come? What does that even mean? <laughs> Listen, I'm, it just blew my mind. I'm like, okay, well, so what do y'all want us to do? I asked, what do y'all want us to do? That was like, call your insurance. Okay, okay. I just called, so got the phone with the police officer and I called my insurance. Called that insurance, and then the, that was the process. 
call the tow truck too. My, my car was towed out, so I had to call, call the tow truck. Uh, that that it was my fault. I looked down when I looked up in traffic. We came to a close end, but as I as we was closing in, I had turned my wheel to the right. I hit they back left, and then I got hit from behind and pulled over to the right. Um, but it taught me, okay, stop being on your phone in traffic. <laughs> It's the you can't you can't multitask when there's a lot of traffic, a lot of cars, a lot of stopping and going, stopping and going, stopping and going. So you need to be mindful of that. I wasn't mindful of that. I was just doing it. I was just doing reckless things. It, it was reckless. I couldn't have lost my life. The other people could have lost their life. That was reckless. But then it also taught me when one bad thing happened, when one bad situation occurred, how do you handle? How do you control what you do? How do you how do you respond to that? And I had to really learn. I'm responding to this from my experience. But my experience is telling me, it's teaching me how to keep my control, keep my composure. But I had to learn it wasn't easy because when I was going through my divorce, when I was going through the breakup in April of 2022, it was so hard for me to be alone because I didn't know what was going to come from me. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that. But as I continue to learn, continue to be with myself, to keep continue to learn and love myself, I've learned one adversity is not going to stop the good. How do you control what's happening to you? You identify what just took place and you respond by controlling how you react to it. As simple as that sounds, it is not that easy. It's not that easy because you really have to just have so much self-awareness within yourself. You have to identify what just took place. But you not being ready is you not learning that. I can't learn what I don't know if I don't put myself out there. But how do you put yourself out there if you don't understand why you're doing this? I knew when I started making content, I knew there was a bigger cause from this. I knew there was a bigger calling for me, but I didn't know what this calling was. I'm not ready for the success that I was that I was looking for at the time because I wasn't the person that I am today. I didn't have the knowledge and the education and the experience that I have today. But there's a reason for everything. What's the reason, Terrell? What's the reason, Terrell, with the why? What's the reason? The reason why you're prepared for your success today is because you started when you wasn't ready. But just because you wasn't ready doesn't mean you didn't stop yourself from actually doing it. Mm, mm, mm. Why? Because there's the end goal is bigger than what you're currently going through. I'm not ready saying I don't want to face my fears. But what if you face your fears and become ready over time? This is where you're. This is where you start to grow and learn more about yourself and why things happening. We can't. We can't predict the future, but we can take daily action today, and the future will will present itself. Why? Because there's a there. There's a there, there's a, a a reason behind the success. There's a, there's a reason behind the madness. What is the madness? The madness is your growth. What is the reason? You learn it each and every day. But you can't learn if you don't start when you're not ready. But when you start when you're not ready, this is where you continue to grow and become the person that you could have never dreamed of. Why? Because you not being ready is making you ready for your future success. If y'all got value from this video and really, really, really understood, if I hit home, if I said something that really resonated with you, leave down in the comments on what that what that was and how it, how it helped you identify what you been 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 running away from. How did it help you? How did it make you feel? Leave that in the comment. And if you really enjoyed this video, click this video right here and continue to watch videos about your life growth, about growth in general, and just and just enjoy the process. Click this video, and I'll see you there.